Hey, how is it going everybody? My name is Stevie Wonderkid and welcome back to another episode of Rate My Ride where I review my subscribers GTA 5 car builds that are submitted to me through my Discord server. So really quickly, if you guys do want to make a submission for a future Rate My Ride live stream or video, do take a look in the description because all of the instructions on how to join the server and make a submission are in there. So with that out of the way, in this video we've got some really awesome Bosusoku or Zokusha themed car builds to look at. Now for anybody who isn't aware of the Bosusoku or Zokusha style, it essentially encompasses a bunch of different sub styles of classic Japanese car builds like the Yankee, Kyusha, and Shakotan styles as well as the all-out Bosusoku or Kaido racer theme with of course the crazy exterior modifications, colors, and the signature upswept Takiere exhaust. We got a good variety of Bosusoku themed builds that I'm really excited to go through so let's get started. Alright, first off, we have Big Al the Unit's Anna Silvestra, and about his build, he says this is his Kaido Racer styled Anna Silvestra with twin turbos, a GT car inspired wide body kit, a big wing, and the updated Halford headlights with a neon kit. And I definitely think this fits in really nicely with that Kaido Racer or Yankee style with the racing livery, the race inspired wide body kit, and these smaller deep dish wheels. And it also has some more modern elements as well with the exposed twin turbo setup and the track inspired wing. I also am a huge fan of the coordinated color scheme that I went for with this build because the body color, livery, and neons and the other accents match up really nicely. I also like the different headlights that he went for. It's a nice change of pace for this car. Normally I keep the stock headlights but I still dig the updated look. And yeah, this is definitely a really cool and authentic Kaido Racer build for sure. Next up we have Kazaku's Vapid Retinue Mark II, and about his build he says this is his Retinue Mark II with an attempted Bosusoku style on it, with some flashy neons, a big spoiler and splitter, and some other neat 90s bits. And I'm gonna be honest, I was not expecting to see a Retinue Mark II as a submission for this theme, so it was definitely a nice surprise to see this car. And I actually really like the color scheme and the livery that he went for on this build. It's nice and bright, but the livery really matches up well with the color, and it definitely plays into that classic race car look. I also like that he went for the wide body fenders and the big front lip to play into that Kaido racer style. I'm also a big fan of the small chrome wheels. I think they're perfectly matched to this type of build. Now the only thing that I'd change on this build is the suspension. Personally I'd go for a suspension with slightly less camber because then I think the wheels might fill the fenders a little bit better. But that's about it though. This is definitely a super unique take on a Kaido racer build with the Retina Mark II but it still turned out really good. And next up we have Alfor Zone's Pegasi Inferno Classic. He says that this is his Kaido styled Pegasi Inferno that takes inspiration from Morohoshi San's Fighting Star Lamborghini Diablo. And he also painted it in a viola metallic color from the Lamborghini Diablo that featured in Jamiroquai's Cosmic Girl music video. So I really like the pop culture reference there. And I'm personally a huge fan of this build because it retains the car's Italian roots but also has some extra Japanese spice. I think it looks super clean with the beautiful pink color in addition to the white interior and the fairly stock exterior. But it also has some cool fight Lightning Star inspired modifications with the neons, chrome wheels, and extremely low stance. I also love the wheel choice because they're pretty unique and flashy wheels, but they still fit the build really well. Overall, this Infernus Classic is absolutely beautiful, and I'm a really big fan of the Bosusoku inspiration as well. And next up we have Zero's Pegasi Inferno Classic. This is another Fighting Star inspired Lamborghini build. And this is a lot like Alfor Zone's Inferno Classic that we just saw, but with a little bit more Japanese spice to it. And while it's kind of hard to see the color in the light, it looks to be a gray with like a white pearl in it, which I'm a big fan of. It's a beautiful color that contrasts nicely with the pink neons that he has on it as well. I also love the big flashy and chrome wheels with a big wing, and I think they definitely fit into that Zakusha style. And this is definitely a clean and unique build for sure. And next up we have Weissy's Dinka Blista Kanjo. Now a little bit of background, he says this is his Dinka Blista Kanjo build with some extra Bosusoku spice that he painted in a bright sunburst yellow which he says doesn't look as bright as it actually is due to the color grading that he had on the pictures. He said he also went for the tall Shakotan style exhaust and he thinks it's a cool and creative approach to the Bosusoku theme. And I definitely have to agree with that one because I was not expecting to see anybody submit a Kanjo for this round of submissions but this still fits the style pretty well. I like all the exterior additions that he added like the big flap spoiler and the wide body fenders in addition to the classic look with the old three spoke tuner wheels. Now to better fit the Bosusoku theme I might have done a livery in addition to the bright yellow color but nonetheless this is still a pretty cool and clean Shakotan type build. And next up we have Demon's Karen Fudo. Now he says that this is his first submission for the Rate My Ride series and that he wanted to submit his Fudo because it's one of his favorite cars in the game. He says he likes how it's a cool retro car with its styling and drifty handling but also looks great as a stance or a show car and I definitely have to agree with that one. This is a nice retro build with some cool Shaco Town additions like the exhaust, spoilers, and the body kit. I also really like the addition of the Karen Racing livery because I think it fits in nicely with that Kaido Racer theme and it also contrasts really well with the bright blue color on the body. Now to better fit the time period 
period of a build like this, I might have gone with a classic set of some smaller wheels in the tuner or the street category, because I think the wheels that he has on there now are a little bit too big, and I also might have done the riveted wide body fender flares to better complement that classic Bosasoku look. Still though, this is a very unique and clean build. And next up we have Magic's Karen Sultan RS. Now I said that he made this Bosasoku styled Sultan when he was about half asleep, but still thought it turned out to be a pretty interesting build, and I have to agree with that one. This build is super interesting, because again, the Sultan RS was another car that I really wasn't expecting to see in the submissions that I got. This build definitely fits in with that Sokusha theme though, because it's got a really loud pink on yellow color scheme, in addition to all of the aggressive exterior modifications that he did as well. Now for a Bosasoku type build, I personally would not have done the roof and the hood scoops, but other than that though, the bumpers felt fender flares and the spoiler that he chose fit the theme really well, but yeah, this is a super unique build with a really loud color scheme that's definitely true to that Bosasoku theme for sure. Next up we have Lulu, YG HBT's Volker Warner. Now he didn't have to say much about his build other than he thought it best fit the theme for this round of submissions, and I have to agree with that one because the Warner is probably one of the best cars in the game for making a true Bosasoku type build, because there's plenty of Kaido Racer inspired modifications, most of which Lulu chose to do for his build here. I'm really liking the bright blue color scheme with the stripe in the center. I might have gone for a slightly brighter color on the secondary to play into that bright Kaido Racer look, but that's really just my personal preference. Still though, this is definitely an authentic Bosasoku type build with all of the exterior additions like the bumpers, the hood, the big ducktail spoiler, and the exhaust, along with the small retro style deep dish wheels, and yeah, this is definitely a really good example of a proper Bosasoku build. Next up we have Class A Dyna's Karen Sultan RS, now he said he didn't really have much of a plan for this build, so he just put the longest front and back bumper he can find, in addition to a big spoiler and a bright pink color, and this was the result. Now I definitely think this is more of a cleaner Shakotan or street style type of build because it's got a very clean but a bright exterior. There's nothing too crazy about it, but it has a good looking combination of bumpers and spoilers on the roof and the trunk. I also like the front bumper choice that he went for with this build because I think that the sheer size and length of the bumper definitely fit in with that elaborate Zokusha style. Now to better match the theme, I might have gone with a smaller set of tuner or street wheels with painted centers rather than the larger chrome wheels that he chose but other than that though it's still a nice and clean build with some really cool Shakotan inspiration. Next up we have Cold's Volker Warner. Now he said that he did this Warner build because he was fascinated by the Bosasoku style, and this build is definitely true to that Kaido Racer of Bosasoku style with all of the crazy exterior modifications, and I also like that he went more authentic with the loud color scheme with the blue body and the pink stripe down the center. I also really like the classic wheel choice that he went with. I actually would have never thought of choosing these wheels for a Bosasoku build, but I actually really like the look of the pink color behind the chrome mesh, and yeah, this is definitely a unique choice of wheels that matches up with the color scheme for the rest of the car, and this is another really Really, really clean and proper Bosasoku build. Next up we have RC2K's Anna Silvestra. Now he said about his build that he was playing around with different modifications on the Silvestra, and when we voted on this theme in the Discord, he says this was the first car that came to mind for the build that he wanted to do. And I personally am a huge fan of this build for a lot of reasons. The first being the color scheme, because there's a lot of contrast between the purple, yellow, and the white. There's a lot of color there, but they all go together really, really well. He also kept it like a pretty authentic Yankee type build with the aggressive wide body kit and the racing livery, which I love, in addition to the Bosasuku style exhaust and the ducktail. And I also like the addition of louvers on this build as well. Normally, I don't really like the look of louvers on cars, but I think they complement the classic look of this build really, really well. Overall, I think this is a really beautiful build and definitely a great example of a Zakusha style build for sure. And next up is Morty's Karen Sultan RS. Now it says that he mainly uses his Sultan RS for cruising and car meets, so he went with a minimalistic build with a more subtle color and livery combination, and I think this is another really unique build because as I said before, I wasn't expecting to see many Sultan builds, so it was really nice to see a build like this. And this particular build stood out to me a lot because of its color scheme, because the colors themselves aren't super bright or out there as you'd normally see on like a Bolsasoku or a Kaido Racer build, but it is still a really unique combination of the baby blue and the white, and I really like the white stripe livery that he added as well, and the rest of the exterior complements that Zokusha look too, with the big front bumper and the spoilers, in addition to the classic tuner wheels with the white faces, and the only thing that I might change is the hood, I'm personally not a fan of the big cut right in the center, and I don't think it matches up with that Zokusha style all that well, because it makes it look more like a show car. Overall though, this is still a super unique build with a really cool color combo and some nice Bolsasoku additions as well. And next up we have Retro's Volker Warner. Now he said that this was his first Bosasoku tape build and he bought it to compete with Shaq who is actually another participant in this round and you'll see his car in a little bit. Now this is another Warner build but this time Retro tried to set it apart from some of the other builds we've gotten with a different combination of exterior upgrades as he chose not to do the headlight covers and also went with a different spoiler. Overall though I'm a big fan of the color scheme that he went for and I also like the old deep dish Watanabe wheels and this is another really great textbook example of a Bosasoku type build.
And next up we have Shaxx and Ponte Ruiner and he said that he made this build instead of a Fighting Star Lamborghini because a couple people as we saw earlier beat him to it. Now for this Ruiner build he went for a bold wheel choice to contrast with the pure black paint job and I will say that this was one of my favorite builds out of all the submissions that we got. I think the pictures look absolutely amazing and the build itself is beautiful as well. Now as he said he wanted to contrast that black paint with a flashy Benny's wheels and I think this contrast really sets the build apart from a lot of other Ruiner builds and I think the other aspects of the build like the front bumper, the exhaust and the neons definitely play into that shock tan look as well overall this is a very authentic and a beautiful build for sure and next up we have A1 Green Orange's Volker Warner. Now he said that he built this car as a stance and show build and also just to show off in the sessions that he joins. And this Warner build is definitely like the others we've seen so far with similar exterior additions. But in this case the differentiating factor is the color scheme. Now it looks like he went with a purple primary and a pink secondary which I definitely think matches up with the loud color schemes that are on a lot of Kaido racer car builds. I also like the classic deep dish wheel choice that he went with and the pink headlights is also another nice touch. This is another really great example of a Bososuku style build with an interesting color scheme to match. And next up we have Top Secret R35's Volker Warner and I says that for this build he went for a blend of the Chakra 10 and Kusha styles and that he actually debated doing this build in the first place and personally I'm really glad that he did this build because as he said it's a really cool combination of the Chakra 10 and Kusha styles. He's got more of the Chakra 10 style parts with the big Takagari exhaust, the big spoiler, the big front lip but he's also got more of the refined color scheme that's reminiscent of a Kusha build and I think this is a really interesting blend of styles and I'm a big fan of the period correct wheels as as well as the carbon accents on the fender's hood and the mirrors, but this is another very unique and authentic Warner build that definitely stands out from the others that we've seen so far. And next up we have It's Louches and Ponte Ruiner. Now about his build, he said that he had a stock Ruiner sitting in his garage for a while, and that one day he decided to take it out and do a Bosasoko inspired build with it, and he said originally he wasn't a huge fan of the style, but he was impressed with the build that he made. And this is another unique Ruiner build with the signature bright color scheme, and what looks to be the Takiyori exhaust in the rear. Now I'm liking the overall look of this build, but I'm personally not a fan of the big alloy wheels that he chose. I think to better fit the theme, I might have chose some smaller street or tuner wheels with colored faces to match that retro look. Overall the build looks pretty cool but I think it'd be way better if he had some pictures of the entire car that were also a bit brighter because as it is the pictures you can't really see the whole car and it's also really hard to see because it's so dark. Still though this is a pretty cool build from what I can see and it definitely matches up with that Shakotan style. And next up we have Cubos and Ponte Ruiner. Now it says that this is the first car that he built specifically for the Rate My Ride series and that for his build he went for a Ruiner as he thought it was a pretty unique choice given how many Warners had already been submitted. And this is another really really cool Ruiner build in my opinion and it has a really nice bright yellow on red color scheme. And I also like that he added the stripe across the top of the car as I think it matches up really well with the stock Ruiner stripe on the doors. And of course he has all the other Bolsasoko inspired modifications like the front lip, the ducktail spoiler, and the small tuner wheels that are also color matched to the rest of the car and I also like the fact that he didn't do the Takiyori exhaust I definitely think that sets it apart from some of the other Bosasoku Ruiner builds that we've seen overall this is another really cool and unique Ruiner build with some awesome pictures as well and next up we have Nakazato's Volker Warner. Now it says that this is his first submission for the Rate My Ride series and that for this build he went for a Kaido Racer build that was a little bit different than the other Bososoku Warner builds that we got for this round. Now personally I'd say that this build is more of a Kyusha or Shakotan type build rather than a full on Kaido Racer because it's got a pretty subtle exterior with a green primary color and it doesn't have a ton of additional modifications as opposed to a Kaido Racer build which has a bunch of crazy colors and crazy exhaust and body additions and things like that. I'd say it's more on the clean side which is why it fits better with the Q Shards of Shakotan theme. Other than that though, I really like the shade of green that he chose for this build. I'm not sure if this is a standard color or a crew color, but nonetheless it looks super clean and I like the little bit of metallic that's in the paint as well. I also love the deep dish street wheels that he put on the build too. I think it's very period correct and definitely matches up with the era of the Warner. Overall, this is definitely a clean and classic build with some extra little additions here and there, and I'm overall a big fan of the look. And next up we have David's Volker Warner. Now I said that for this build he went for more of a clean version of a Kaido Racer style build with a nice purple. And this is another unique build because it has some elaborate Bosasoku mods with the Takiyori exhaust, the ducktail spoiler, and the long hood and front lip. And he also has a little bit of Kyusha style in there with the metallic purple for both the primary and the secondary color. I think this is another really cool mashup of styles but I personally would have gone with a smaller set of wheels in either the tuner or the street category to better match up with the time period of this car. Nonetheless though this is still a really cool and clean build. 
And last but not least, we have Akuma's Games Anna Silvestra. Now it says that this is one of his OG Bosusoku builds that he uses for car meets and role playing, and that it also takes inspiration from an IRL car build that he saw. And I really like this build because it's a cool combination of that Kyusha and Bosusoku look that we saw earlier, the top secret R35's Warner build. Like that build, this car also has some really clean Kyusha elements with the nice maroon body and the gold deep dish wheels, but it also has some more elaborate Bosusoku parts with the big fender flares, the low front lip, the Takayari exhaust, and the ducktail spoiler. And you also can't go wrong with the Sylvester for this type of build, and this is definitely a super clean and unique build for sure. So that will actually mark the end of all of the submissions that we got for this round of Rate My Ride. I know there were a lot of them, but I did want to make sure that I gave feedback on every single one. Now, if you guys want to, you can go check out the poll in the pinned comment down below, so that way you can also vote for your favorite build, and the results of this poll will also be posted in the Discord server in a couple days, so definitely go and join that if you haven't already. But with that said, I want to give a massive thank you to everybody who submitted their builds for this Rate My Ride, as all of the builds were super creative and looked really, really good, and I want to give a big thank you to all of you guys for 9,000 subscribers. I appreciate everybody's support on the channel recently, but with that said, definitely stay tuned for more videos coming very soon. Thank you all for watching, and have a great day.